Hello, Randy here at K7AGE. Today's video is about a Bluetooth audio interface to your radio. Some friends of mine that I yak with on 75 meters, Ed, K6ED, and Frank, K7SFN, have been toying around with this idea and they got it to work. And a whole bunch of guys now have done this, including myself. So the thing that enabled this to happen is this little Jabra interface. It's a tiny little thing. And you can see it's got a cable. What this thing does, if you have an older cell phone that does not have internal Bluetooth in, in order to use a wireless headset, but it does have a jack for a wired headset, you plug the little cable here into the bottom of your cell phone and now you have a Bluetooth interface for your headset. Again, this is a Jabra A210. Over on the right here, click on the More button, and I'll have some links to some of these items. This thing, if you look around on eBay, you can get them for about $20. It's all self-contained, the battery's inside. The interface is fairly straightforward. You basically just need to connect this little connector to your radio's microphone input and your headset out, out, output. Let's draw a schematic to see what that looks like. Let's look at the schematic for the interface. Here is the, the plug that we need to connect to and it has three circuits. So we have a sleeve, a ring, and a tip here. The tip we will wire into the microphone input of the radio. The sleeve will be wired to the head phone output of the radio and the sleeve here will be connected to ground. The connector is known as a 3 30 seconds of an inch or 2.5 millimeter. Your interface box, you'll have to be a little creative on your own here. Frank K7SFN with his ICOM 760, 756 Pro 3 uh, has uh, receive audio available on the microphone jack. So he was able to build just a simple little interface with the um, jack for the jobber to plug into with some heat shrink tubing right over the end of the microphone plug. So that's all that, that his interface took. It can be that simple. I made something a little fancier I use a little box here and I have jacks on one side that, with a cable that goes to the radio. The jobber plugs into a jack on the end here and I have a push to talk switch if I want to use the system without using Vox on the radio. Then I made up this cable set to go from the box and out to the radio. And the idea of using a separate cable like this is I can make up a different cable set for another radio like my FT-857. But you're going to have to be uh, a little independent on building your interface. I don't have information on, on every radio type. I don't know what pins on every microphone connector. You're going to have to do some research if you're going to be building up one of these. You can um, you know, look in the instruction manual for your radio. It should have the pinouts, especially for the microphone jack. You can get 8-pin round microphone plugs at Radio Shack. If your radio uses an RJ45, sometimes the easiest way to work with that is just go out and buy a cheap Ethernet cable and chop the end off and have a pigtail from the RJ to your interface, either wired into a little box or put a connector on, on the end. So, consult your manuals, some assembly required, your mileage may vary. Okay, for headsets, Probably everybody has seen these. These are the little small Bluetooth over-the-ear headsets you see a lot of people wearing. 
it works fine. This is what the guys started with originally, playing with the system. The problem with these is that the audio going out to the radio for transmitting was poor because the microphone is a long ways from the mouth. So it was end up picking up a lot of the other room type noise and such. So um, this was the first experiment. It does work. Um, not the recommended. This is what we found. This is what I think uh, Ed found, case 6ED. This is a VXI Blue Parrot B150 headset. And the big advantage here is that the microphone is down on a boom. So when you put this on, it's down by your mouth. And now the distance here is very short and you have much better transmit audio on your radio. This is very comfortable to wear. It's not real heavy. It looks a little bulky here on the side, but uh, uh, you can run this for a couple hours uh, before the battery runs out. Both the headset and the and the Jabra have internal batteries. They both come with uh, AC uh, chargers to charge them, and the headset also comes with a 12 volt charger because uh, these things are primarily you know, used in cars and stuff. And apparently this is popular with truckers. They say this has noise canceling technology. I think what that means is that the microphone is close to your mouth instead of being way up here by your ear. So those are the headsets. Microphone gain. You'll have to watch your microphone level when you're feeding it from the Jabra. One of the, um, on the end here, where there's a jack for the charger, there's a little switch, and there's a three position, one, two, and three. And what this affects is the audio level out of the interface to the microphone input of your radio. We found that typically two works about the best, but you may have to make a um, slight change in your microphone gain. I typically find with my TS-2000, I need to turn it down when I'm using the uh, Bluetooth interface. So watch your mic gain when you connect all this up and double check that. And that's what this little switch thing on the end here does. Okay, let's try a little demonstration here. I have my 817 feeding my audio mixer feeding the camera. So let's do a, a comparison here between the um, TS-2000 microphone and the Bluetooth microphone. Let's give that a try here. K7AGE testing 1234, K7AGE on the TS2000 microphone. Hello, radio, K7AGE, QRZ testing 1234. Hello, now I'm on the uh, Bluetooth headset, K7AGE. Hello, radio, seems to be working pretty good. It's nice because now I'm hands free, running box, no cables, I can move around the. Uh, the the operating position here on the desk and such and still be able to talk on the radio here. So this is uh, really a handy thing to have and uh, seems to work pretty well. Wish I was able to do maybe a better audio comparison here, but with the guys I talk to on the radio, they uh, this works fairly well and typically it's hard, almost hard to tell the difference between the stock microphone and the Bluetooth headset. So. This really is handy to have. K7AGE. So I've shown how you can uh, pretty easily build yourself a Bluetooth interface to your radio, get yourself a headset, get yourself a good one. The, the VXI is the one that we really like, uh, though you can play around with the little things on, on your ear. You have to come up with your interface, and again, you have to consult your manual and you know look for the pinouts to get the right connectors. Again, the eight pin. Uh, round microphone jacks or plugs are available at Radio Shack and the whole project $20 for the interface approximately and the uh, headset on Amazon uh, was about $80 so right in line with a commercially available wired headset. We found it very useful people once they start using them they just really like it and you know the batteries are good for a couple hours so make sure when you're done operating you plug the headset and the jobber back into the charger so you're ready to go for your next QSO. 73s, hope it works out for you. Send me an email. Check out the links over on the right here to help you um, get some more additional information on putting this together.
73 Randy K7AGE